we organised surveys, we found out that there were a lot of girls didn't have bikes. The last time they got a bike was maybe for their eighth or ninth birthday. We introduced a cycling module into transition year. They're absolutely excited to meet students that they've met from all over the country, but they've only seen them on Facebook, Instagram, and at meetings. So this is the first time they've actually met live and they're really excited. our research we found that cycling is uh, socially practiced and reproduced as a boys thing in Ireland, uh, in second level in particular, and that I think the anti cycles campaign reappropriates cycling for teenage girls um, in what is a very gendered cycling regime in Ireland. Women getting more independence, travelling further than ever before, and changing what they look like entirely. And the next step along the way was equal rights and suffrage. I'd like to give a huge congratulations to the Anti Cycles Ambassadors. It's a wonderful thing to be an advocate of cycling, which is something I try to do. And I really would like to encourage all girls and all women to cycle because it really is, it's wonderful exercise. It's great for your health and it's good for the environment, of course. It has done historically for women and even today, like it's a great feeling to get on your bike, feel the wind in your hair and go. We made a survey and we sent it out to all of the schools involved in the programme. From that survey we realised that a lot of girls want to wear trousers. So we brought that information to our school and now all girls in our school are allowed to wear trousers. It was quite difficult at first I'd say because like everything was new. Um, but then like there is a good group of us that are doing it in our school so there are five of us. So it was really, it, it got easier as we worked together. We would talk to more older people in our school, whereas we have girls in junior cycle as well, who would also encourage younger girls who they could relate to more. 